गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर ट्वेंटी एथ एंड ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट्स सेशन एज पर द रिसेंट मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी कमिटी अनाउंसमेंट वॉट इज द रेपोरेट एज ऑफ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया हैज कैप्ट द पॉलिसी रेट अनचेंज at 6.5% in the recent mpc meeting and who's the current rbi governor this is mr shakti kandas so he retained financial year 24 gdp growth projections at 6.5% but he has raised the cpi inflation forecast for financial year 24 to now 5.4% okay so as per this meeting the repo rate for august 2023 is 6.5% now let's talk about some of the important facts and figures related questions first of all international monetary fund has raised the forecast for india's gdp growth for the current fiscal to 6.1% from the earlier forecast of 5.9% that was predicted in the month of april why due to stronger domestic investment they have increased this value now okay then how many itrs have been filed means how many income tax returns have been filed for annual year 23 to 24 in india this value is 6.77 crore okay after that few days back stans research report was published in which it was unveiled that india's per capita income is likely to grow to 4000 dollars by the end of 2030 okay so here this is 4000 dollars also what is the india's gst collection for the month of july 2023 so this value is 1.65 lakh crore rupees okay so these are some of the important figures that we have to remember The next question is, which country is the host of Malabar 2023 multilateral naval exercise? So this exercise commenced at Sydney in the country, Australia, and Indian Navy's indigenous frontline warship INS Sahyadri and INS Kolkata is participating on this 11-day event. So different ships and aircraft from the US Navy Japan Maritime Self Defense Force and the Royal Australian Navy are also participating in the exercise and Malabar series of maritime exercise commenced in 1992 as a bilateral exercise between Indian Navy and US Navy okay so which country is the host of Malabar 2023 multilateral naval exercise answer would be the country Australia Also you have to tell me which country is the host of Zaid Talwar 2023 exercise First of all this is a bilateral navy exercise between India and UAE and it aims to enhance the interoperability and synergy between both the navies okay So from India side INS Visakhapatnam and INS Trikand have reached Dubai in the UAE to participate in this zaid talwar bilateral drills with the ua navy okay so three things are important first of all which two countries are organizing zaid talwar or zaid talwar is the exercise between which two countries answer would be india and ua this year what is the venue answer would be ua and from india side which two ships are participating so these are ins visakhapatnam and ins trikand okay now a few days back we have talked about nomadic elephant Nomadic elephant exercise is between India and Mongolia and this year the venue is also Mongolia in the month of July it took place between i think 17 to 31st of July okay after that next is talisman sabre exercise and it has been initiated by Australia and the US okay next one is the vayu prahar exercise and it is a kind of multi domain operations between indian army and indian air force 
basic purpose is to coordinate activities across different branches of military so as to achieve converging results fine so vayu prahar is between indian army and indian air force the next one is desert flag desert flag exercise took place in the month of february i think and the venue of this exercise is ua okay and uh, one last is vayu shakti so do not get confused between vayu prahar and vayu shakti because vayu shakti is different and it is a triennial exercise which take place once in 3 years okay so it is different thing vayu shakti is different and vayu prahar is different now you have to tell me yuddh abhyas is the exercise between which two countries please write your answer in the comment section the next question is reliance geo recently completed the work related to connecting which country with a high speed optic fiber cable so indian telecommunications major reliance geo has completed the work related to connecting maldives country with a high speed optic fiber cable and a ceremony was also held in maldives country to land the ocean connect maldives india asia express submarine cable system and this cable system originates in mumbai and it connects singapore with branches and landings in india malaysia and thailand okay so reliance geo has recently completed this work related to connecting maldives with a high speed optic fiber cable now apart from it which institution has recently launched su swagatam online system so this is supreme court of india because our chief justice dy chandra chud has announced the launch of su swagatam which is a kind of online system for generating entry passes to the supreme court and this new initiative eliminates the need for physical passes and long queues which would actually ensure easier access to the court premises fine so this su swagatam online system is associated with supreme court also which institution has recently released the rice price index so it is unveiled by the food and agriculture organization which is a united nations body and in this year this index has been increased by 2.8% okay headquarters of fao lies in rome in the country italy fine next question is one district one product launched its collaboration with which union ministry so one district one product which is an initiative under the department for promotion of industry and internal trade under ministry of commerce and industry they have launched their collaboration with the ministry of rural development in new delhi so they have jointly launched one district one product wall at saras ajivika store okay so one district one product launched its collaboration with ministry of rural development now few days back if you remember we have talked about anusandhan national research foundation bill 2023 can you tell me what is the outlay of this bill so the outlay is 50000 crore rupees for the next 5 years and basic aim is to foster research and development in across india's research institutions colleges and universities at different levels okay so recently this bill has been passed the second one is digital personal data protection bill and it is associated with ministry of electronics and it basically it recognizes both the rights of individual to protect their personal data as well as the need to process such personal data for lawful purposes okay so digital personal data protection bill is in news these days you can be asked that this bill is associated with which ministry so that would be ministry of electronics and it next question is as per the recent data which country is the largest source of human hair raw material in the world so india is the largest source of human hair raw material in the world as per the information that is provided by minister of state for commerce and industry anupriya patel so india had exported 169.23 million dollars in value of human hair during last fiscal and uh, the plex council is working with the government to provide training to indian exporters 
to start producing high value goods like wigs okay so india is the largest source of human hair in the world if you talk about some important gi tag products that were in use these days the first one here is gelisar dhatu shilp basically it is a metal craft from uttar pradesh and recently it got the gi tag the second one is a variety of mango named as mankurad mango and it is the product from goa state then the third one is goan babinka and it is a desert dish of goa state the fourth one is udaipur craft and it belong to rajasthan state after that yesterday we have talked about rajori wood craft and it is a product from jammu and kashmir the sixth one is a variety of rice the name of which is mushk budji mushk budji rice again it is a product from jammu and kashmir earlier also we have seen that from jammu and kashmir basoli painting had got the gi tag along with moral mushrooms right and now you have to tell me the kambam grapes that have got the gi tag few days back belongs to which indian state this is a product from which state of india please write your answer in the comment section the next question is which country's hockey team is the winner of the asian champions trophy 2023 so india won the asian champions trophy 2023 after a sensational finals against the country malaysia don't forget that harman preet kaur is the top scorer of the tournament as he finished the tournament with total 9 goals okay so which country has won the asian champions trophy answer would be india and malaysia country was the runner up okay now apart from it can you tell me what is the position of india in the fih men's hockey world rankings as of august 2023 so indian men's hockey team has jumped to the third spot in the fich men's hockey world rankings following their asian champions trophy title win and also don't forget that the venue of this championship was chennai okay so india has reached the third spot with total 2771.35 points and this ranking is topped by three time world champions netherlands because they have a points 3095.90 points and which country is at the second position it is belgium and belgium has a score of 2917.87 points so the first is netherlands second is belgium and the third one is india okay after that talking about the world university games 2023 india has won total 26 medals in which 11 were gold 5 were silver and 10 were bronze okay also who is the fastest indian cricketer to clinch 50 wickets in the t20 international so this is kuldeep yadav we have talked about this news few days back and with this kuldeep yadav has surpassed yuzvendra chahal to become the fastest indian cricketer to clinch 50 wickets in t20 international fine next question is kalya namastu and shadi tohfa schemes are implemented by which indian state so recently andhra pradesh chief minister ys jagan mohan reddy provided financial help to the qualified individuals under this scheme and the financial assistance is provided to the parents from poor financial backgrounds to help them so that they can perform their children's marriage after their education and this kali namastu program is meant for the girls who belong to sc st obc and minorities disabled construction worker families and the shaadi tohfa scheme is for only muslim girls okay so the both of the schemes are implemented by andhra pradesh state and who is the current chief minister ys jagan mohan reddy then apart from it can you tell me which state or the union territory released the guidelines for rescue and release of the snakes this state is odisha and the odisha government has released some strict guidelines permitting only certified snake handlers to rescue the snakes from human areas with violations leading to penalties under the wildlife protection act 
72 and the rescues are limited to the situations where snakes pose threat to the humans and with snake bites accounting for 40% of disaster death in the state the need for trained professional is paramount okay so odisha state government has released some dedicated guidelines for rescue and the release of snake also which state has recently launched indra gandhi free smartphone yojana 2023 answer would be rajasthan state and gruh jyoti scheme is associated with which indian state so it is the scheme of karnataka state basically it is a free power scheme and basic aim is to provide free electricity up to 200 units for every household okay next question is reserve bank of india has selected which companies to use artificial intelligence and machine learning to improve regulatory supervision so reserve bank of india has planned to work with global consultancy firms in order to improve regulatory supervision over the banks and the non banking financial companies and the central bank has selected mckinsey and accenture to develop the systems that use artificial intelligence and machine learning for supervisory functions okay so rbi has basically selected these two companies to use ai and ml to improve regulatory supervision also can you tell me which is the first bank to provide 24 by 7 video banking service in india so this is au small finance bank okay au small finance bank is india's very first bank to provide 24 by 7 video banking service then after that airtel payments bank has recently launched india's very first eco friendly debit card okay and few days back crisil has launched its corporate banking rankings for the year 23 and in this hdfc was placed at the first position with this hdfc has actually surpassed the state bank of india okay so the first was hdfc in this ranking second was sbi and the third was axis bank okay next question is which state ranked at the top in overall fiscal health scorecard as per the financial year 23 revised budget estimate so based on the financial year 23 revised budget estimate maharashtra state tops the ranking in overall fiscal health score card then maharashtra is followed by chatisgarh odisha telangana and jharkhand so based on the financial year 24 first budget estimate the top 3 states are maharashtra chatisgarh and telangana and it shows a report on the fiscal health of the key 17 states basically it is based on four fiscal parameters fiscal deficit own tax revenue state debt levels as a percentage of their individual gross state domestic product and uh, the last one is interest payment to revenue receipts okay simply have to remember that maharashtra state has been placed at the top most position in overall fiscal health scorecard as per the financial year 23 revised budget estimate now if we talk about the world press freedom index in which india was ranked at 161 position out of 180 countries and which country was at the top position this is the country norway okay the second one is logistics performance index and uh, talking about this index india was ranked at 38th position out of 139 countries and which country was at the top most position it is singapore second was finland okay next question is anwarul haq has been named as the new caretaker prime minister of which country so recently he has been sworn in as the new interim prime minister of pakistan country and his appointment came after the dissolution of pakistan's parliament 3 days before the legislative body would have completed its 5 year tenure so that then prime minister shahbaz sharif and opposition leader raja riaz agreed to name senator kakar as the caretaker prime minister fine so anwarul haq is the new caretaker prime minister of pakistan country you have to tell me who is the new chief justice of bombay high court and kerala high court please write your answer in the comment section the next question is kamar tribal group is a particularly vulnerable tribal group of which state or the union territory 
so this tribe lies in chhattisgarh and it is a particularly vulnerable tribal group recently it has been granted habitat rights to protect their culture and livelihood so this makes kamar the first pvtg in the state to receive such a status and who's the current chief minister of chhattisgarh mr bhupesh baghel he handed over the habitat rights certificate to the heads of 22 settlements on the occasion of world tribal day when do we observe the world tribal day it is observed on 9th of august okay now you have to tell me when do we observe the loin day please write your answer in the comment section and now the last question says as per the chief election commissioner and other ec bill who is the head of the committee to appoint cecs and ecs so chief election commissioner and other election commissioners appointment condition of service and term of office bill was introduced in rajya sabha and it proposes the setting up of a three member committee which is led by the prime minister for appointing future chief election commissioners and election commissioners okay so here correct answer would be prime minister the prime minister of india narendra modi has recently received the highest honor of egypt country which is known as order of the nile fine and the president of india draupadi murmu has recently received the highest honor of the country suriname fine you have to tell me who is our law and justice minister so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this meenu zahad sana signing off